Hi, welcome to the ABC Video Tip of the Week sponsored by Volleyball One on One. Uh, today, I'm super excited. We're gonna be doing something totally new and exciting. We're gonna be teaching you how to uh, teach and design athletic drills and movement specifically for volleyball. We're here at Velocity Costa Mesa uh, with Chase Cameron. We've shot three full workouts with them on, uh, specifically for volleyball. And Chase and Velocity work with some of the best athletes in the world uh, for sports. So tell us quickly about yourselves and uh, what we're going to be doing today. Well, we're at Velocity Newport Mesa located in Costa Mesa off 277 Bristol Street. Uh, we do work with athletes of all ages from youth athletes all the way up through high school, collegiate and even professional athletes on the AVP tour among some others as well. So what we're going to be doing today is we're going to utilize the broad jump just as an example of some things that we can do, okay? And we're going to do a resisted broad jump. So the first thing we're going to do, we're going to start in what we call a technical drill. We're kind of the technique of the broad jump. After that, we're going to progress into a resisted broad jump, like I said, and then an applied drill at the end, put it in more of a lifelike uh, situation that they would, they would encounter on the volleyball court. Now broad jumps, a little bit more of a horizontal jump. I'm going to start them with a vertical jump first. So I get them loading in the correct position that I want them to load in. If you have beginners, these are guys are top end athletes, you might want to start with this to make it a little bit slower. So guys, first thing I want you guys to do is get your feet in jumping position, wherever you guys jump from right now. I'm going to have them up tall, hands together. Now when I say drop, I want them to immediately drop down, Load their hips back, their arms are full extension back. And I want them to hold that so I can take a look at how they're tracking those knees and everything else. Guys, when I say drop, drop down to that position. Drop. Stand. Good. They look pretty good. Ready. Drop. Stand. Let's go a little bit faster with the drop now. Eyes forward. Drop. Good. Now, next step. They're doing the, the, the track the knees very well right now. You don't see a lot of this. That's something you want to pay attention to, okay? You definitely don't want this. You want that knee lined up with the middle toe right here, okay? So this time, guys, when I say drop, I want them to drop down, immediately stand up, and as they do, bring everything back through the top. Ready? Drop. 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 Good. Now we're going to take them to the next step. This time, when I say jump, I want them to drop down. Give me a big jump. Soft landing, hips loaded back with those arms extended, just like we just did. And again, they're going to hold it for me so I can take a look at it. Ready? Jump. Stand. Ready? Jump. Stand. Ready? Jump. Good. Pretty good job, guys. Now, that was a vertical component of the jump right now. We're going to take it and put a little bit more horizontal on the broad jump. There's a couple differences I'll explain right now as we go through this. Notice when they land on the vertical jump, it's balls of the feet immediately followed by the heels. Right now, I want to see it kind of flip-flops as they extend out into their jump. I want them to kind of put their heels down, followed by the balls of the first foot for, uh, now as we go to the broad jump. So now, guys, when I say go, I want you to drop down, jump out as far as you can, soft landing, load the hips, control it, then stand. Okay, we do one jump right here. Ready? Go. Good, stand up. Let's do another one, guys. This time, make sure as you push through, they get full extension of the hips. You don't want to see hips left short right here, okay? You want full extension of those hips coming through. Again, a soft landing. Make sure they're tracking those knees properly. They're not doing all this stuff. Ready? Go. Pretty good job, guys. Okay, go ahead and roll back. See, you're getting distance, huh? Yeah. Now, that was a great job. Now what I'm going to have them do is start in that same position. But I'm not going to have them drop into it. I'm going to have them work what we call the concentric portion of the jump. So guys, I'm going to have them pause down here. Hold this position for me. Now I'm going to have them hold for a second. And then when I say go, they're just going to extend out the jump. Just working on that push phase of the jump right here. Down. Go. Good. Let's reset one more time. When I say go this time, guys, they're hard. Oh. <laughs> it's a tough one. So now when I say go this time, I want to do immediately just push out. I don't want to see rock and then jump. And when we get to the applied drill later, we'll see why. Ready? <laughs> You're going to see that a lot right there. They're impatient. They want to get to that jump. You're going to have to hold them, hold them, hold them. Make sure all that elastic energy that's built up, it goes away right now. We don't want that. Down. Go. Oh, it's still rock. Good. Great job, guys. Okay. Come on back over. So that was the first portion of our drill, kind of working on uh, the technical portion of the drill, what I want to see. 
Okay, so now we're going to take them to the resisted portion of the broad jump right here. Give them a little bit of fight right here, and they got to have to push off real hard. So now, a couple safety things to consider. We got them on the rack. Now, if Andor steps back just a little bit, you see we got these kind of safety handles right here. I took that off over there. So make sure when you're doing something like this, have a safe environment and really explain to the athletes what they need to be doing so they already understand and know so that they can remain in a safe environment, okay? The other thing you'll notice is we're not wearing shoes because we're training for beach volleyball. We're all beach volleyball players. Uh, so depending on what you're training for, it's a little bit different. Most of you at the ABC are indoors, so you would be wearing shoes with your athletes. Absolutely. So what we're going to do right now is I have them up just a little bit. So these things, these bungees right here, they're not fully locked out or they're not going to lock out when they are in mid-air in their jump. Okay, so just a little bit of attention. So walk up just a little bit. Now the concentric portion of the jump right there, that's what I want to work on today. There's no dip and drive today. Okay, so I'm going to have these guys go ahead and drop down to that position. When I say jump, they're going to jump up as far as they can just like we just did. That's the broad jump. Now when they land, they're going to maintain a forward lean position strong and they're going to hop back slowly to the position under control. Alright guys, ready? Go! Good. Okay, stand up, hop back. Easy, easy. There you go. Once they're back, they're going to anchor back in. And we're going to do a few of these. We're going to go four more right here, guys. So now, I'm going to cue them on their own. When I say down, I just want them to go on their own now. Once they're set, have them drop. Count one, two, three, then they jump. Okay, so on your own, guys. Ready? Here we go. Good, easy back, great job. So now we're taking that broad jump, adding a little bit of resistance, so a lot of power coming through here. And you still want to make sure they're doing everything properly, getting the hips through, driving hard, very nice on door. And then they're under control, of course, and always safety first. Okay guys, let's finish out here. Great. Good. Okay, so now what we're going to do is the applied drill session uh, of the jumping program that we'll do with the broad jump today. So we had our technical, we put them through some resisted jumps, now we're going to do the apply. So what I'm going to have them do is, you two go ahead and back up for me, and I'm going to have Ondor stand in his dig stance, his ready position. So let's say, for example, this guy's come up swing, they're digging, but all of a sudden he tips the ball. They've got to react to that. They've got to push out hard to get to that ball. Now, I don't want to change up their techniques that they're coached with on the court. I just want to develop some power coming out of that thing. So, guys, when I say, when I toss that ball, you're going to react to that ball. And no diving right now because this thing will cut you up, but you want to just come and scoop and catch it right now, okay? So, now I want them to really push out hard. Good. Really get those hips through. Go. Good. Push out. Big push. Stand. Go. Go. Good. Now you can throw it which direction you want. Just push out. You can make it challenging. You may bounce. Good. One more. Okay, good job. Okay, come on in, guys. So you can kind of manipulate that however you want. Now, we did more of a straightforward broad jump, and I had them coming out to the side a little bit. I just want to make sure they can develop a hard push out of their stance so they can explosively get out and get that ball into their position, okay? So let's talk about that. So what we did today was we basically kind of did a progression on how to teach effective movements in sports and volleyball, be that jumping, lateral movement, whatever. There's a technique portion. Yeah, we went through the technique, then we put them through a drill, and this can be applied with anything. So a multi-directional drill, okay? You can have to set up a cone drill, have them practice the technique slowly first, then put them through a more advanced drill, then do an applied drill, something like that. And that's what the soccer ball is for, an applied drill. Okay, we shot some incredible videos here at Velocity Fitness. Uh, we shot three full workouts. They have some very unique ideas in terms of lifting and working out. Uh, it's very sport specific. And basically their workouts are broken up into three days predominantly. Three movement days. So we have a linear day, so think acceleration or you know maximum velocity, stuff like that, mechanics. Uh, we've got a multi-directional day, so we'll move side to side, speed, agility, quickness, all that stuff. And then we've got a jumping and landing day. Teaching them how to track and load properly, not doing all this. And then kind of like plyometrics, working on pushing out hard and developing that lower leg power. And what I really like about the workouts is it does all of those three things while also still including uh, lifting and working out, a lot of ab and core, and then also a lot of mobility work. Okay, great stuff. Uh, make sure you check out all their stuff too. We're going to have the information on our website. Okay, and uh, make sure you check out our other videos. We have almost 2,000 videos at this stage. 
And we've also done some fun things with Miles and Pete here. Uh, we've been filming uh, practice plans with all the top beach volleyball coaches in the world, uh, where every single week we film a new beach volleyball coach and a full practice with them. And those are going to be coming out now during the summer.